Hello everyone, uh, this is Pamik and welcome to Cybersecurity TV. Uh, in this video, we will talk about the HTML injection uh, part 2. So in the previous video, if you remember, we talked about the basics of uh, injection attacks and how one can exploit the vulnerability. Uh, in this challenge, uh, we'll take a little uh, complex example where the input parameter is within the tag attribute. So um, how do we get out of that attribute and how to break the jail and, and like, you know, uh, exploit the vulnerability so uh, this is the previous example like you know this was the previous uh, video uh, where I talked about this one where there was a name parameter it was echoed back to the user as is uh, now in today's video this is a little complex example uh, where you could see there is a name uh, text box and then there is a submit button and if you see the code uh, there is a hidden field uh, called ID uh, which takes the user input. So for example, let's say uh, we enter one, two, three. But as you see, here, there is nothing being displayed here because it's a hidden field. So again, uh, let's see. So the value uh, is you can see in the page source, but it's not getting reflected to the user. But so this is of no use because we can't exploit the user or we can't exploit the vulnerability if uh, our, our input is not uh, reflected back and like, you know, uh, where we cannot control the UI of the application. So for any social engineering, uh, it's very vital that you have to change the UI of the uh, application page. So uh, like, you know, victim, you can trick the victim and, and uh, get the data. So, uh, so first thing first, we need to break out of this hidden field. So how do we do that? It's simple. So uh, the values are contained between these double quotes. So first we will like, you know, uh, close out this thing. So uh, let's see the example. So what I'll do is first I'll, alter, I'll enter the double quotes and then this. So that means uh, I have closed down the uh, input or the hidden input type. And now I'll enter my own value, which is Hello there. So now you can see we got our input and then of course this is also an extra value uh, which you know we don't need but at least at this level now our input is being reflected uh, back to the uh, application page or to the UI. Now what we will have to do is we will have to make this more sophisticated where we can send this link to someone and like, you know, uh, steal that data. So how do we do that? Uh, let's see. First, we'll cancel out this and let's see the page source. So what I'm planning to do is I'll create another form uh, just like this and like, you know, pretty much uh, uh, make this form invisible so uh, you know the victim whenever someone clicks on our link they will only see the form created by us so let me actually show you how to do that uh, so let me just copy this let's create a new uh, tab so what I'll do is uh, okay so we have a uh, I have created the uh, new form actually this is the existing one uh, so what I'm gonna do is first we will have to close out the existing input uh, tag which we uh, did a uh, little while ago and then what I'll do is I'll also close out the form so if you see here there is a form and so we've closed out this first and then we have also closed down uh, the form attribute okay now uh, we created a new form as I said like you know we will create our own form and we, we can also mention like you know uh, action like you can post all the data to hacker universe so uh, any data which will be submitted through this form will go to the hacker universe page of course we don't have such page but uh, like you know you can pretty much do all sort of things by specifying the action now we also don't need this hidden parameter because uh, we just we are just interested uh, in getting the account number of the user uh, and here we can say please provide account details 
all right so uh, this is going to be account number now same thing I need a routing number okay so this is going to be a RN and same way we need the pin ATM pin or uh, yeah let's see ATM pin so this is going to be uh, okay all right this looks good and what we will have to do is pretty much we will have to comment out uh, like you know we don't need all these details so what we'll do is we simply do the HTML comment so rest of these things will be commented out now um, as you see in the ID parameter we only have uh, just you know uh, we'll have to provide the input or our payload in a single string so we can't provide all this detail into uh, a new line or in a single single line so let me just combine everything in one line so it's easier for a browser to understand okay so now we have everything I guess it looks good all right let's copy and let me paste here and enter okay all right so I should have added uh, one BR tag here just to uh, break the line uh, let me just do it to make it more functional okay so all right so here it says please provide the account details and then account number routing number ATM pin and as you can see the rest of the text boxes are or, or like you know the previous uh, name parameter is now hidden now as you can see everything is you know uh, controlled by here so if somebody uh, like clicks on this link you can just copy and paste and provide to anyone they'll see this page you can also make it you know UI lot better by embedding or just making sure it looks exactly like any banking site or something and you know, people would fall for this trick uh, but one thing if you notice like you know uh, these details uh, look very fishy so if I I'm a, I have a little technical knowledge and if I see this uh, I, I can sense there is something wrong in here so as a as an tester uh, or as an attacker what you can do is you can pretty much encode uh, this entire value so there are a bunch of encoding uh, methods out there you can do URL encoding or there, there are pretty much so many types and if you encode this uh, all this uh, value will become like you know pretty much non understandable by uh, any any user so it would be uh, just a bunch of strings and characters in, in non ordinary fashion so uh, if you do that you just provide that link to the user you can also shorten the URL uh, there are just so many ways even Google provides a service so uh, it would look really lactimate so like if if you send this entire thing in an email to a user uh, with some tax mass uh, like you know some tax and mm, say click here you provide this and otherwise your account will be blocked or blah 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 or whatever so they would click on this page they'll see this form they'll put the details here you will have the decent uh, you know uh, domain name and etc and of course uh, because uh, you are actually performing this attack on any banking site you know the dom domain would look very lactimate because if it's a uh, Bank of America Wells Fargo or whatever it is uh, you, you know it would just look in the URL bar and the user would think yes I need to provide this detail while we have like you know pretty much commented out the existing values and that's why this is form that controlled by the attacker so uh, that is how you can do it and uh, uh, one thing you would see here that uh, we haven't closed the HTML tag or the body tag and we could still see our form and the reason uh, is that browser uh, just tries to execute whatever it can and then it ignores the rest of the things while this is not the case for the SQL injection so like if you miss any small simple syntax then the database would throw an exception but in this case since it was you know uh, there are just so many kind of different pages and and content it's out there in the world wide web 
browser actually does not care and it just try to execute as much as it can so that's why you don't see an exception or any error here but you can also like you know if you just want to be more optimized or more realistic you could also close down this body in HTML tag before the comment we entered here so like you know just to make this form uh, really valid but just for the demonstration uh, this still works so uh, I put my uh, this this and like you know when I hit the submit the form is going to uh, go to like you know uh, hacker universe or whatever the domain that's controlled by us so that's pretty much it uh, I want to discuss in this video probably next time we'll take it further and we'll discuss the more complex example uh, but this is it for now. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about uh, various web application vulnerabilities in the future videos. All right, thank you and have a good day.